Welcome back. The Electoral Commission of Namibia has deregistered three political parties and six organizations or associations. The political parties that have been deregistered are the Democratic Coalition of Namibia, the Federal Convention of Namibia Party, and the Namibia Democratic Movement for Change Party. To share more on the matter, we're now joined on the line by David Siluka, who is the Manager of Corporate Communications and Marketing at the ECN. Good evening and welcome, David. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good evening. Um, uh, good evening to the viewers and listeners. Can you provide more information to us on the reasons behind the deregistration of these political parties and organizations? Well, thank you. I'll start by stating that uh, in terms of Section 135, subsection 2A of the Electoral Act Number 14, uh, I mean Number 5 of 2014, as amended, the principal objective of any registered political party must be to participate in and promote elections under the Electoral Act. Uh, the participation includes the nomination of persons and candidates for elections, the canvassing for votes for a candidate that, at that election, and the devotion of any funds or any part thereof to the election expenses um, of any candidate taking part in an election. Uh, in, this, in, in regards to the deregistration, therefore, Section 152B of the Electoral Act provides for instances where the Commission is given a prerogative to cancel the registration of a political party. And uh, those instances are such as, uh, in, the, uh, in the opinion of the Commission, any registered political party has at any time after its registration failed to participate in and promote elections as contemplated in Section 155, uh, subsection 2A. Um, additionally, if any, or if any registered political party or registered organization no longer functions or no longer intends to be registered as a political party. Um, furthermore, Section 152D of the Electoral Act uh, also states that if a registered political party contravenes or fails to comply with Section 141, the Commission can deregister such a political party. And uh, Section 141 of the Electoral Act provides the disclosure of foreign or domestic financing by registered political parties. Lastly, um, Section 152 further again provides that the Commission may cancel the registration of a political party if the party or the office bearer of the party persists in the, in, the, in the opinion of the commission to contravene the act. Now, going forward, uh, the Electoral Commission of Namibia noticed with concern that correspondence regarding with compliance to Section 139, Section 140, and Section 141 of the Electoral Act which were sent to the Democratic Coalition Party, the Federal Convention of Namibia Party, and the Democratic Movement Party for Change was not replied to and or complied with. This applies to the deregistered organizations also. And furthermore, it was also noticed that the above mentioned political parties and organizations were not participating in elections or were not functioning as per the requirement of the Electoral Act. Tell us, are there any avenues for appeal or, or recourse for these parties and organizations that have been deregistered? Mr. David, can you tell us if there are any avenues for appeal or recourse for the parties and uh, organizations that have been deregistered? Uh, unfortunately, there, are, there is no such avenue. What impact then does the deregistration of these parties have on the political landscape of Namibia? I, I hardly hear you. 
My question was, what impact would the deregistration of these parties have on Namibia's political landscape? Uh, this only shows the seriousness of uh, the Commission when it comes to applying the sections of the Act uh, which is the Electoral Act of Namibia, um, and uh, it, 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 is really, it really doesn't have to do with uh, um, other assumptions. Talk to us about how the ECN ensures transparency and fairness in the deregistration process. When it comes to the deregistration process, there are processes that the Electoral Commission or the Commission has to follow. And that is uh, to publish a notice in two circulating newspapers in the country to notify or call upon such political parties, representatives to come forth. Uh, and this was done. However, the deregistered political party, as stated earlier, did not uh, present themselves as the, the request. Very lastly, sir, what steps can political parties and organizations take to avoid deregistration in the future? Well, thank you. Uh, the, the commission, uh, since 2022, uh, has convened with the sensitization program to sensitize the registered political parties and organizations about issues of, of compliance, particularly to Section 139, Section 140, and Section 141 of the Electoral Act. Um, a workshop was conducted um, early, late last year and mid last year, another one-on-one -on -one, uh, meeting with political parties and organizations were conducted where they were sensitized and encouraged to comply. Um, and as a result, the Commission has taken a bold uh, decision to apply the sections of the Act um, as they are compelled. Mr. Siluka, that's all the time we have this evening. We thank you for your time this, uh, and for joining us. Any final remarks from you? Um, uh, thank you very much for having me and uh, good night. That was Mr. David Siluka, the manager of corporate communications and marketing at the Electoral Commission of Namibia, speaking to us on the line. We'll be right back shortly.